Welcome to the BTC show. Um, interestingly, I have a guest. His name is Dr. Foy. So what did Foy talk about? What would Foy talk about? You would have to watch. And when you watch, um, I hope you pick up something. Okay. Welcome, Dr. Foy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. We finally had to do this, right? Yeah. Good day, good day, good day. <coughs> honored, honored, honored. <laughs> Not. So how have you been? Um, <clears throat> good year, first year. Yeah, first year. Dollar price, like, swellings, <laughs> the cuisine. Using no get permission to enter your spirit, like dollars. Niger Nigerian dollars. Yeah. Naira is. Yeah. yeah. But, but but good good year. Yeah, awesome. Clarity is clarity. Very clear. Yeah, clarity. It's clarity. I love your journey. Do I love my own journey? Good question. Do I love my own journey? Because huh? it's stressful for me. Oh. So that's what it is like. Uh, people, from, people like it. People Adventure. Like, heroic. Yeah. But it's not easy. Oh. Ah. Now you wear the shoe. Now you wear the shoe. Tell us, tell us, tell us. I think my journey has been... Has been... I had to learn how to affirm myself. Perfect. I had to learn how to defy what people say is structure and and um, and how it should be done. Okay. But I'm like, don't don't follow me. Good <laughs> good advice. But don't follow me because you understand, because yeah. maybe there's a bit of luck, maybe there's a bit of favor in faith. Maybe there's so I, I, there's a it's like every time I I, I take a turn Something helps me. I have people. I have a platform. So, ha, please don't follow me. Or just know that it's not easy now. It's not easy. For example, uh, my, my wife's parents. For example, they, what do you do? You understand? What do you do? So there's that. There's that. There is. There is. What do you do? What? What is it? What is it? What are you up to? Get a job in this thing. Do your do your plab or USMLE or go and do rest this. And, yeah. So there's that. So I had to also learn how to define what I did. Okay. I was all things to all men. I'm a doctor for the creatives. I'm a creative doctor. I mean, I just yeah. So it's. Has it been sustainable for four, for Doctor Four? You? Yeah, I think. In the long run, it has, it has, I'm in a better place. Okay, perfect. I understand who I am. I'm confident about who I am. There's congruence. A lot of people have congruence. That means their inward philosophy, ethos, and their, how they, and their outlook is different. I have congruence. And congruence brings peace, wealth. So I'm, 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 in, I'm in strong congruence. At what stage did this finally sink? Because this was not just a journey that happened. It was a journey that walked through. Um, so in the beginning, I, I had nine to fives. In the beginning, I worked for MT, for Viac, Viacom, Paramount, worked for Budweiser, did some projects for, I think, Facebook. So I, 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 had, a, I had some proper... Um, portfolio, work. portfolio yeah. grounding, work for a boss, hard boss, get out of office. You know, so I also had I, had, I worked for like six, seven years or more. So it was six, seven years. So I have, I have that ethos. Yeah. But I'll say that I also took risky steps because I moved by my intuition. I'm also saying, I'll say that I married a good woman because very important. Yeah, because I think she also has, she also grew in a family that her father was a risk taker. Okay. So okay. she, nice. yeah, so she's like, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. But sometimes when there's delay, I'm like, oh, boy, am I a failure? <laughs> so, yeah, so, so, like I see, a lot of people help me. Yeah. People, platform, places, timing, those things helped my evolution. It did.
he did. So it's rare to have for the doctor and for you moving from the medical field to the creative field to becoming doctor of creative and um, looking back at your journey. If I was a parent looking at you, I was like, that means you wasted seven years. How has your medical background helped you evolve and still evolving and still not losing touch of all these versions of you? Are you bringing it to a new workplace where I tell people the biggest current now is new media. And I think it would, it, would, it would be here for a longer time. So has all this path of you been able to mold the you that is still evolving? I'll say that if I, if I ever was like a leader in, in a country's educational system, yeah. I, will, I will remove exams and degrees. OK, why? I would. I would say that learning for yourself is the most important thing. Okay. Self-discovery, self is not degrees, not competition. Not degrees, not competition. So how do we, how do we assess? We can't do that, so not degrees. Yeah. We have exams, but it's about you learning for yourself. My greatest strength is my self-awareness. Okay. I understand myself. One, two, I understand that Everything in this world, every single thing in this world, the most important things in this world, like that, what you consider the most important things in this world, are stories. Yeah. Even Jesus is a story <laughs> written in the Bible, articulated by priests and popes and pastors for 100 years, and we believe. They said the word became flesh. <laughs> that means the story became a personality. Yeah. That's what they said. Am I correct? Very valid. So I've learned to tell my story. Okay. And I add the medical path to the story. And that's, that medical path has opened doors. They, invaluable doors. That you didn't see coming. That, that's in Ashake's voice. They never see. It has <laughs> one, two. Because of the era we're in, I've been able to evolve. With, so for example, I'm, I'm doing work with some, the government for mental health in the community. Perfect. The only person in Nigeria they could call him was Dr. Lopez. Because you understand them. Understand it. So I told my story. I owned my story. I understood my story. I didn't make my story a disadvantage. Okay. I, I didn't make it a limp. I made it an advantage. I flipped it. So okay, what can I do? What can I do with my, with my experience, with my story? Okay. How can I make it work? What is the positive in it? What's the positive part of my story? Who needs my story? Who needs my experience? How can AI work with my story? Mm. How can I package? But it also has to do with love. Failing, yep. trying, and, and introspection. Most people I know don't introspect. It's hard to think. But poverty will catch you. <laughs> or you will never be. Food chain. Yeah. But I agree with you, it's hard to think. I, I do agree with you. Yeah. yeah but you would never be on, on, on the top of the food chain. So, yeah. so boy, there's a version of you people want to become. And you've been able to help us walk through that journey of, um, it's not that all that glitters is not good, but there's the, there's the behind the scene work yeah. that has brought you here. This is 20, this is the year where um, we've had so much of AI taking away people's work. However, we both know that the new world is about media, a thinking head, and um, it's a knowledge economy. How, how do people who have the gifts that you have in this area, how, are they, how can they use what you're using to be relevant, to be personal brands, to be... Um, to stand out in the workplace without um, becoming less of themselves. And now you said two things. You talked about um, several people ask you, who are you? And you have to answer that question because there's a reason why they're asking. They're asking because they want to find out, is this, is this something I want to do? Is this a fruitful venture for me? So how do you talk to someone that is inspired by you and everything you do but he's at that point where he needs to answer the question, 
how can this version bring me my ROI that would make me full? full? So my answer would be, you have water, don't worry. The, the universe only verifies those who are authentic. You know that blue tick yeah. that people are paying for now? The universe verifies you authentic. It's shown. So what I was saying is, they, for example, a person I really listen to a lot is Elon Musk and okay. Sam, Sam Altman. Awesome. Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI. He said yesterday that in 2025, he knows somebody who is going to have a one billion dollar company, only 10 staff. And that by 2030, this is a bet. One person's company, one man company that's 10 million. But I understand my climate in Nigeria. We're not yet even the alphabet talking of A then I. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being nice. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> we don't have data like that, technology. Like, <laughs> but we can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm done looking. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying that I that use understand the person's outlook towards life, okay. the person's ethos, okay. and then use it in your own in your own style. Okay. That, that, that's, that's what I was saying. For example, I don't believe in safe spaces. Okay. I believe in brave spaces. Okay. Different. I think, that when, I think that what has hurt people most on earth, the younger generation, yeah. are safe spaces. My father-in-law, um, my father, my cousins, people that are older than me that are doing very well in life, they, they had it Comfort wasn't what helped them. It was bravery. Yeah. yeah. So safe spaces can be the death of you. Mm. Bravery is what makes you a leader. Bravery is what makes you stand out. If you know Miss Road, how are you going to know New Road? If all of us come Miss Road, who can help us find the road? Somehow, somehow. But, but why sit here and die? So sure. there are a lot of things that I learned. Be brave. But don't be be brave foolishly, have some savings, have this thing, have that, have network, it's, it's, it, it's all that. But let me also add and say this to everybody here. It takes time. And you have time. Oh, you have time. You have time. It takes time. You have time. Do you know, so I, I'm also in the intimate space. Killer Mike is a rapper. Yeah. He won three Grammys at 48 years old. Data in America says that most of the greatest businesses start when per age 42 to 64. Data. Not data. Not um, three unicorns. I mean, from the case study of, of 10,000 businesses, yeah. age 42 to 64 is where people are doing their best businesses. Because so, they have too much less. Because they have less seen. So, don't, so the problem is social media is undue comparison, irrational comparison, and all that. Yeah, so you have time. The, the real issue is you. Are you, are you. are you Are you the best version of you every day? I'm not sometimes. So I, I'm not. Okay. So, so those, I would say self-awareness. Um, a team that might not be like you, but for you to help too. But most of the time, if, you, if you're all the same way, there's nothing to learn. There's no, yeah. <laughs> so it's why I can tell you the truth. Yeah. But if you know it, it's for your progress, not to demean you. Yeah. So you have people like that that hold you very well. Oh my God. My wife is one of them. My wife is not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. My wife is not moved. She's like, are you sure I have that? I have my siblings who are tough. My Good. parents are tough. I have a few friends who just don't, yeah. And, That's and, very healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. No, it's very healthy. But over time, I've seen that they're not demeaning me. Yeah, it took a while for you to get there yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, because creativity is very risky. Personal. It's very personal. It's very risky. It's very, yeah. it's very risky. It's very personal. Yeah. You get, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. So, so for, let's look at, um, Working with the next generation, I've seen you um, 
manage talent and um, speak more for the younger talent. They are also um, pushing a new genre of music. How has it been for you um, working with a new generation of Gen Zs, um, specifically Gen Zs? Now, the workplace is also music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the workplace, the, the workplace is, is entertainment. entertainment, content entertainment, okay. and and I work with corporates because co they we do comms, yeah, we do comms for for top companies. We do com strategy, yeah. we do road to markets, we do yeah, yeah. So how has it been for you working with this generation of people? I have to kill my ego because they don't they don't respect <laughs> what they deliver. Good, <laughs> good, they don't respect what they deliver. So I have to kill my ego. When I was their age, I called my boss sir. Yeah. Call me for it. I'm like, I'm not your, I'm not, I'm not your mates. But you hold it. You hold it. I had to kill my ego first of all. I had to kill my ego. That's yeah. number one. Uh, number two, I had to not compete with them. Very good. In the sense that technology has leveled a lot of people. Sure. So. My job is to bring what I have on board, which is experience, yeah. which is maturity, okay. which is a sense of vision, yeah. which is because, for example, they, they love to think a lot. Yeah. They're not very decisive. Yeah. So, so I, my ego had to die. And you love them because they have results. Oh, they execute, they deliver. Good. They deliver. They, they also understand that they understand that I, I'm not I deliver as a person. They, they've seen my track record. Which so is the first thing they look at. They, yeah, then they so they know that okay, I can I, I know what I can do. Yeah. I can try. I, yeah. I'll add RGBT too. But I, I can try. Yeah. So do, don't don't come and but I don't compete with with because they're better in some things. Okay. They are digital natives and immigrants. <laughs> yeah, they they code better. They like they they, yeah. they are they are they, we we are we are hybrid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, you are hybrid. Yeah, yeah, we, but they are completely native. They are completely native. So I'm not. Yeah, so I I respect them. I love them. I don't fight them. But I also see one thing: they 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 they're watching. They're watching. Okay. They're watching. They watching. Yeah. What I also see is that for those who want to. Are looking for the right set of people to work with the team. Yeah, I think it's a mystery to, to find the team. You must build your team. Okay, how do you mean? I think that this brain drain. I'm sure you know across all industries. Yeah, across. Yeah, the worst is even with technology and media. Yeah, true. I agree. I it's, agree. It's the worst. Agree. Tech. My friend, my friend said that every three days in Germany, a new tech boy arrives. And they come from Africa. Nigeria. Sometimes from Akure, Iraq, Baja. They jump out. They jump out straight. Yeah. So I think what I've also learned is that I'm not going to look for capable hands. I'm going to build capable hands. I'm going to find, find brave men. People that are brave. Who have, let's try. Okay. And in this era, Last year, Mr. Beast, a YouTuber, <laughs> had more views than Netflix. True, I saw that record. <laughs> Mr. Beast had more views. Netflix's highest, Netflix's highest video, and Mr. Beast yeah, was more. So my point is, the world has changed, mm. and they understand the new world better. Better, they get it. Do you understand it? So you run with them. Yeah. Okay. So finally, Dr. Foy. Um, in the future, we would remember you for several things. Yes. <laughs> for an Arsenal fan. Now we start the Arsenal journey. Again. <laughs> now we start the Arsenal journey again. <laughs> could you could you could you not think about okay, don't worry, before I enter more problem. <laughs> I have several as now, but I can stay good as in my life. Okay, go ahead. Go. No, no, no. <laughs> so, what, what I want to remember for? First of all, I want to be remember. I, I was thinking about this yesterday. Okay. I want to impact something. 
maybe only want to impact the creative mind in Africa. Okay. I, I want to tell. I want to show Africa that we can change the world. Okay. That's one. I mean, a time where leapfrogging is possible because of technology. And media. And media. Yeah. So I, I want to be a global name as a person who told the best African stories okay. that had values. Okay. That had value. So for me, that's very key. Very key. What else again? I want to be known as a good husband, a great father, a good family member, sibling, a great a, a Christian, a kingdom person. Who, yeah, of course, my faith is very key to me. Yeah. What else again? In this area, can be many things. Can be many things. I'm joking. I'm known for many things. Well, but you'll be known maybe not for your product, but for, for your person. So let's let's try something. So you know very well that at the end of the day, what you think about yourself is different from what people think about you. Yeah. So let me tell you who for it is, yeah. <laughs> from 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 my own point of view. Yeah. Um. You've pushed being a voice of um, the new Christian creative very well, subconsciously, subconsciously. So even if you go left or right, that one hasn't left you. Yes. And I know very well, maybe you've not touched so well that this is where you're going to, but that's one perspective. And if I, maybe if I ask you all the question, you might not call that. But at the end of the day, the world sees us too. I learned lately to always ask people the question, what do you see? Because we don't know what we project. We think we're projecting this, but subconsciously we're seeing this. So from time to time, um, and you have that voice. You have the voice and um, you're holding the light well. So go ahead. <laughs> so this is what I'll, I'll also say. Hmm? Yeah. Let me sh show you one of my, sh let, let, let me share with you my strategy. Okay. On why can I? Yeah, go ahead. So, when I was in MTV, I would see, you know, even still Budweiser, I would see Bonner Boy, you know, Whiskey or David yeah. O, yeah. come to get deals, we invest in the business, in their content. The whole band are short boys. I mean, the drummer, backup singer, there's a some even our track pianist, ba, 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 ba. Where do you go and get, where do you get a thousand hours of learning how to do music for free. Church, church. Where do you learn confidence? Church. Where do you learn how to do this? Church. TJ Murray was a church drummer. Everybody's doing that. Yeah. So my thinking is, first phase, can you trust me? Yes, then they're trusting me. Yeah. Next phase, can we now show them that you can be a Christian, but also a blue world person? Which is what is hard for them to believe. So that's, the, so the, so that's why I said, at the end, but, but I need to start from, I did for you. Yeah. Do for me. See my hand. Like like this. See the hole. See the hole. See the hole. <laughs> That's the first phase. Then the next phase yeah. is going to be products. We're working on a few movies, a few projects. For real. And it's not Christian stuff. Yeah. Of course, he has our values. Yeah. You, yeah, he has our values. But it's not tagged Christian at all. Perfect. He was doing it. And they will make money. And they'll say, it's possible. And that's how we do it. But you must start from a base. Okay. And that's my base. Because they are the ones... I'm, I'm talking in my seven to ten years of working in that in this economy. Everybody, even the cameraman here might be the church camera guy. <laughs> the next is media. Yeah. I'm in media. <laughs> yeah. Uh, true. So I'm like, is there something here? I'm just like, yeah. You get the point. There's so, you just pick it up at it's 13, 14, and at 20, I still you're gonna be a star. You're gonna be good at what you do. Yeah. You're gonna do the hundred hour the hundred hour rule easy. Yeah. So you get my point. Yeah. But I've also been deliberate not to look churchy, not to sound churchy, deliberate not to be tagged church. Church. So I use Kingdom, I use Writer's Rebel, I use Dr. Foy. Okay. When they want to hold me, I say I'm a doctor, mental health, trauma, burnout. Leave me alone, all of you. <laughs> burnout, um, sabotage, self sabotage. Just. You get it? Thanks for, for your time. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Thank you so much. So finally, finally. Um, what's your final words to, um, to everyone that wants to um, 
that wants to move forward, that wants to evolve in a world that does not completely align to um, to the things they used to see. But they have to move forward because they are now likes, they are now influencers, they are they have the new currency to move forward. What do you think um, you have learned along the way that you think will be very valid to them? Congruence. Congruence. I've learned that you must, your internal stories and your external stories must, must match, must align. The force of greatness is when everything about you speaks the same thing. Most people I know have not been able to spend time with themselves to find clarity within. So when you're telling stories outside, you're joking. I've seen shy people, shy people, shy, silly people that they understand who they are. They, they, they see that, oh, it's cute. Because you can see that this person means what he says, believes in what he says, will do what he says. Okay. So you must have congruence. You must, you must spend time. Now, in the journey of congruence, which is internal and external clarity, you, it takes time. Some things will drop off. Some things would fall off. Yeah. Some things would. So how do you, how do you improve congruence? That, that is the alignment. Two things, attention and intention. Most people don't pay attention to. See, I'm 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 soaked in what I want to become, and it's not even music. It's I want to be able to merge everything I want to do together. Music, entertainment, the whole. I, I call it the content industry. Yeah, yeah. Everything now works together. I'm immersed in it. That, that's my attention, but my intention is not confused. I'm clear about it. I want to help the African. I might start with a, with a Christian creative because that is my, that, that is where I can have influence. First, impact influence, and then. You know, if you eat the liver, say, I will do this to you. Oh, my nigga, sharp, pro, pro. <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Nice for having me to you. <laughs>